Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I have a message for the program hopper. The individual that jumps from program to program to program, either trying to find a magic program or they'll get on a program, a workout program, and just not be satisfied. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. All right, so in a hotel room somewhere in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, Sheboygan, in Wisconsin we call it, we used to call it Boygan, Boygan, because we're just, you know, dumb people, silly people. So I had somebody leave a uh, question or a comment, I believe, on the Massive Iron Group. And you can check out the link to that below. Please come on over and join. And they're wondering what you should do if you're a program hopper. Well, a program hopper is typically someone that finds a new program on the internet, gets really excited about it and starts it. And then a week later or 10 days later, finds another one and jumps to that and jumps to that and jumps to that. This can either be from chasing a magic, trying to find a um, a magical program that is something that will expedite your gains that much more quickly. Or it's just that this person feels like a kid in the candy store and just wants to try everything. He wants to, he or she wants to try everything. So my advice for the program hopper is to know this first and foremost, that there are no magic programs. Programs are tools and vehicles. And people come to me all the time and say, there's this program and that program and this program and I'm so handicapped I can't figure out which program to use or which program is best. The real truth is that none of them are best really. The one that is best is going to be the one that you want to stick to. Okay, and I'm going to present you a solution here at the end. But if you think about it, most programs have about the same amount of exercise volume, sets and reps. Most programs have a progression place, a progression uh um, you know, a method of progression in place. Most of them focus on wise, intelligent uh, exercise selection, you know, compound movements for squats, deadlifts, bench, all that kind of stuff. So when you think about it, most of them have compounds. Most of them have a reasonable amount of volume. Most of them have a progression scheme. All these things in place are just different ways of doing the same thing. And people will say, you know, why do we need 700 different variations different workout programs to take us to the same destination. Well, it's, it's simply a case of different strokes for different folks. I've made plenty of uh, different exercise programs over the years, and people ask me, why do you do that? Because you're different from somebody else, and there's going to be a program that you like to do. Maybe it feels better on your body. Maybe mentally you just are more excited about it. And if you, if you get excited about something, then you're probably going to stick to the program. So with that said, understanding that there are no magic programs, that everything is basically the same in the long run. Now, some people will try to debate that because they really, they'll place all their, all their chips, they'll place all their um, dogma into one training variable, or they'll embrace one training variable above all else, and they'll create a dogma. But the reality is, is that if you have, again, a good exercise selection um, some form of progressive overload and a reasonable amount of volume, you're going to make gains. So the program doesn't matter. Um, so if you are one of these people that is in this mindset where, or, or in this uh, habit where you're jumping program to program to program, you're a program hopper, here's my advice for you. My advice is to stop using programs for a while. To stop using programs for a while. It's going to be a change. You're going to have to go into the gym and rely more on instinct. But I want you to go into the gym and just play. On any given day, don't don't chain yourself to a program. If you want to go in and try a drop set today, go try a drop set. If you want to go try rest pause training, try rest pause training. If you want to try 10 by 10, try 10 by 10. But just have fun for a while. Use the good exercises, use a reasonable amount of volume, write down your workouts so you can try to progress in weight over time or whatever the heck you're doing, but just take the pressure off yourself and relax and say, there are no magic programs, I have good volume, I have good exercise selection, I have progressive overload, I'm just going to have fun. You know what? Most of the time, that is what I do. You can learn a lot by just playing. They say that children learn most 
um, when they're just playing and relaxed and not under pressure and just have that freedom to learn things. And adults are no different. So I want you to go in the gym and just play around again and take the pressure off of yourself. One other piece of advice I have is that when you change to one of the issues people uh, struggle with is when they change to a new workout, if there's one variable in the workout they don't like, they'll leave the program behind and go find something different. Well, here's a better way. If you start a new workout system and there's a, a single exercise or a single variable that you don't like in the program, then change it to something you do like instead of changing the com completely changing to a new program. If you're doing a, some type of a bro split that has five exercises on back day and you're like, this is really way too much, then don't change the program completely. Maybe drop an exercise or swap in a different exercise that's not quite as taxing. This is an essential key to making progress over the long run. Having the ability to analyze the variables, maybe five reps doesn't feel good on barbell rows, maybe you want to switch to eight reps. Adjusting these little variables, evolving these variables over time is a key to success, especially when you become an intermediate to late intermediate lifter. You need to have this ability. This is the ability to adapt a workout to what you like and what works best for you is key. So whatever you do, learn and evolve your training and don't put so much damn pressure on yourself. Again, I'm going to say it one more time in this video. As long as you have a good exercise selection, a reasonable amount of volume, and some form of progressive overload, your damn workout doesn't matter. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.